Gigabit Island. Two words for one massive project, which will see £35 million invested in an ultra-fast broadband network for the Isle of Wight. The numbers and the expansion are huge, but the strands of the new fibre optic cable are tiny. It's a wide-ranging plan, with a lot of information to take in, and the team at White Fibre are unpacking the Gigabit Island message. Today, an audience of key stakeholders are welcomed to a briefing held in the deluxe screen of Cineworld in the island's capital, Newport. It's a moment for White Fibre boss John Irvine to recap the progress so far and look to the future. Today is about updating everyone on our Gigabit Island project. Uh, we announced the project uh, last October and last week we started the full rollout of the project starting in uh, Newport and in early September in Cowes. It's also a chance for John and his team to network with invited guests, including business leaders and elected members from the local authority. There's a lot to talk about. When people ask me what is the Gigabit Island. The Gigabit Island is broadband for the 21st century. It's future-proof broadband that's going to be good for the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. A digital island fit for the 21st century that's going to uh, let the island grow, develop and make it a great place to both live and work. John's joined today by Chris Ashman, the Isle of Wight Council's Head of Regeneration. The local authority is working closely with White Fibre and the council's cabinet has welcomed the investment in the island's future. This fits with our building our digital uh, agenda for promoting the island and for redeveloping the island and for encouraging business and bringing the Isle of Wight up to par with places like Singapore. We are going to be world leading. This really is a, a fibre optic cable. That's how small it is. So you end up with a full fibre connection all the way from the exchange into the home. It's a very, very complex project. I mean, it's probably the single biggest investment in the island that the island has seen, uh, certainly in my time here, the last six years, uh, perhaps in 10 years or more. We're very much looking forward to the Gigabit Island experience. Uh, it's going to enhance our business uh, greatly and it's uh, very much in line with the island's 2030 economic vision. It's also a moment to reflect on how the Gigabit Gigabit Island project is making white fibre grow as a business. We've also commenced the recruitment of lots more um, permanent staff at white fibre, so we've gone from about 34 employees to about 50 right now, and that will rise to uh, somewhere between 60 and 70. Our customers think it's great. Uh, we've already got 120 of our customers in Gurnard upgraded to full fibre, and their usage of the internet has gone through the roof. They're using double the data that they did before, um, and they're absolutely loving it. For many island businesses, the new network will allow them to do more faster, fixing black spots and offering a new way of working. Where we work with companies on the mainland, um, we need faster internet and broadband so that we can download videos and profiles from them and upload faster as well. And that's what makes Gigabit Island so exciting. It's a big project, massive amounts of fibre going into the ground, numbers that you just can't comprehend. We have some really funny numbers around this. I mean, we're talking 500,000 metres of trench uh, in the footpaths. We're talking about 5 million metres of ducting, into which is going to go 750 million metres of fibre optic cable. It's massive. Well, currently we already benefit from, uh, fortunately, high-speed uh, fibre broadband provided by White Fibre, but we see that really just enhancing our services still further. It enables us to deliver high quality quality CCTV and security video. Uh, we can upload and download at high speeds, which makes uh, the whole experience a lot more professional and business-like. Now that full rollout has begun, it means White Fibre customers are even closer to experiencing ultra-fast speeds. It's an exciting time for John and his team. Incredibly excited. I can't wait for this project to complete so that uh, the island can actually see, touch and feel what it is we're doing here because it's, it's very hard to explain, it's very hard to talk about it, you just have to experience it. Mm -hmm.